Hey there, Randy Flowers here. What you just heard were some harp harmonics, also known as waterfall harmonics. And I'm gonna do a brief overview of how you do that. Before I start, I first wanna say thank you to all you people that have subscribed to my channel so far. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please consider doing so. Okay, it's basically this. It's a plucked harmonic usually a false harmonic on you know a fretted note 12 frets above wherever you fret then you also pluck a natural note for ease here we'll just do uh, the 12th fret open string to kind of show you what's happening here you pluck a harmonic by using your thumb and first finger then a natural note on the first string. So it's third string, first string, harmonic, second string, and so on. And then to ascend, you play the uh, natural note first and then harmonic. So descending, ascending. So that's the basics of that. We're playing on the fifth fret right now. So we'd go up to uh, 17 and do that pattern we just did. throw in some extra stuff there for the hell of it. What I was just doing was uh, uh, throwing in a ninth on the top there, or however you look at it. A two. Uh, sitting in A minor nine. And adding that to the top, which gives a really cool dissonant type of thing, because this it's a half step down from from this first harmonic you're hitting. And it gives a cool descending cascading effect. And also you can do a pull off, which sounds really cool. As you can see, the possibilities are quite endless and uh, you can really get a lot of cool things going. I use it every day in different areas of uh, what I'm doing. You know, I use it on electric with slide or, um, you know, of course, like I just did on acoustic pieces. For example, I made a video of uh, my version of Somewhere with a Rainbow. I'll have to put a link to that down below. There I used a lot of harp harmonic technique within the frames of that tune. And you can kind of hear how that's done. So check that out. Again, like I said, this is a basic overview, but I have to admit it's a very advanced, difficult technique. It's, it's some, if it's something you've never done, it's going to take a bit of practice. But, you know, if you do this a little bit every day, you know, five minutes every day or something, so you probably have this down in about 96 years. You sure about that? Let me show you what I played at the top there, which was four chords, an F7, flat nine, we move down to a D7 flat nine, same shape to a B7 flat nine, to an E minor. What we're doing is third string first, harmonic, Moving down to the D, then open E. So one more time slowly. That's basically it. Practice that at your leisure and you might find it very useful, as I have. 
All right. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.